So I'm going to read the question, Laura's going to open up the poll, and then we're going to type in the response. The last response that you press in is the one that gets recorded as long as Laura hasn't closed that poll for that question. All right, so let's start with question number one. This is a tester question. What berry are we discussing at today's workshop? Is it A, strawberry, B, raspberry, C, blueberry, or D, Saskatoon berry? That's my favorite berry. So um, it's going to automatically bring up the results, and I don't have time to go through all of them, but um, looks like so there's a range of there's a range of answers which kind of disturbs me, but it's okay. Question number two is for real, so we'll we'll go from there. How would you categorize yourself? Are you a an experienced fresh strawberry grower? B a new fresh strawberry grower, um, having only grown a little or not at all? C a potential buyer of fresh strawberries? D a supplier to the fresh strawberry market? Um, whether it be equipment packaging or other, and then uh, E, a uh, researcher or other uh, person within the crowd. There's 44 out there. Okay. There's 44 out, okay. So, one more, I think. Oh, oh okay. okay. <laughs> All right, so I think we can close the poll. So the majority of you present are no no surprise, but experienced fresh strawberry growers, and that's because we handed most of you uh, out that for clicker. Do Number three, do you currently grow strawberries for the fresh market? A, yes, B, no, C, I am not a grower. All right, most of you um, are yes, that you do currently grow for the fresh market. Number four, do you currently grow strawberries for the processed market? A is yes, B is no, C, I am not a grower. Um, B is the majority here, so no, they, have not, they are not growing for processed market. All right, number five, where do you sell most of your strawberries, uh, fresh strawberries that is, a, is it a farm stand? B, grocery store? C, farmer's market? D, other? E, I am not a grower. All right, so um, I would say in between a farm stand and the farmer's market, um, those would be two of the main ones other than E. Number six, what do you think the Oregon strawberry industry or do you think, excuse me, the Oregon strawberry industry would benefit from increased fresh market production? A, yes, or B, no? So, yes, looks like to be the majority. Number seven, what is your top limiting factor in selling more fresh strawberries or beginning to sell? Is it A, the startup costs, B, too low of prices from buyers, C, land costs, D, labor, E, not enough knowledge, or F, I'm not a grower. So the majority, it looks like um, it's between uh, the too low of prices from buyers and then D, which is the highest, which would be labor. All right, so I think there's at least one more question. Number eight, what is your second limiting factor in selling more fresh strawberries or beginning to sell? A, startup costs. B, too low of prices from the buyer. C, land costs. D, labor. E, not enough knowledge. F, I'm not a grower. Mm, it looks like B, B looks like the, the main one. So too low of prices from the buyer and then D is right up there. <coughs> Number nine, what do you want to learn most about? A, labor issues. B, marketing, which is the branding technique. C, marketing with uh, regards to who to talk to and where to sell. D, production, uh, including varieties, plastic culture, and organic production. E, equipment needed, cost, and where to buy. F, food safety information. 
Um, it looks like C of, well, the two, so marketing of who to talk to and where to sell looks like just above the production of uh, varieties, plastic culture, and organic production. All right, I think that's it for this survey.